I'm winemaker Peter Valino here in one of the educational rooms in Castillo de Amorosa. This is the AVA room. AVA stands for American Viticultural Area. And the AVA that the castle sits in is the Diamond Mountain District. Diamond Mountain is a volcanic mountain on the northern end of the Napa Valley. The castle sits right in the heart of this district. And it is known to be a very sunny, warm area. The soils are volcanic, which means that they cool down very quickly in the evening. So you get very warm days and very cool evenings for the vines, and that contributes to uh, what makes the wines so unique here. Most of the grapes around this area are Cabernet Sauvignon. You'll find some Zinfandel and some other Bordeaux varieties as well. The 16 AVAs in the Napa Valley all are unique, and that's how they earned their individual titles as an AVA. Some of the other AVAs that we work with that we have vineyards in would be Carneros, that's down on the southern end of the valley. That is influenced by the San Francisco Bay. The soils down there tend to be uh, more clay than volcanic, and they're very hard soils for the uh, grapevines to take root in, but it is much cooler down there. You'll have more fog, uh, possibly more rainfall uh, on a certain year, and those vineyards down there, we plant things like Pinot Noir, Chardonnay. Coombsville is the newest AVA. That is on the southeastern corner of the Napa Valley. Our Butala Vineyard is located down there, and it's similar to Coombsville in that it's a bit cooler, but the soils more resemble what we have up here on Diamond Mountain. They're volcanic soils. Uh, down there we have Cabernet Sauvignon planted on a hillside, and uh, the fourth AVA that we really are focused on here is Rutherford. We have a number of vineyards that we work with in Rutherford that's right in the middle of the valley. And that's a, we have valley floor in Rutherford and the hillside. So even though they're both in Rutherford, they really behave very differently. Um, we get some of our best Cabernet Sauvignon from the Rutherford area. And on the valley floor, the soils are much more fertile than they are up here on Diamond Mountain. So the vines tend to be uh, more aggressive in their growth. So it really takes careful pruning and vineyard management to make sure you don't get too much crop because when grapes, vines have too much, uh, too much crops to take care of, the vines uh, won't be able to fully ripen all the, all the fruit. One of the most important aspects of what we do here at Castel de Amorosa is work with all of these different vineyards from across the Napa Valley. Each one presents a slightly different quality of the wine. Down in Coombsville, from the southern end, you get really, really dark color. You get a bit more herbaceous flavors, uh, inky, inky purple, uh, lots of density. Uh, elegant aromatics, perfume, things like that. In the valley floor, namely Rutherford, you get this dusty tannin quality, really fruit forward wines, well balanced wines that can both be used as single vineyard wines or as blenders. And on Diamond Mountain, these wines are rich, powerful, riper flavors, and tend to be very big in their tannin structure. We can make single vineyard wines from each of these locations, or we can use them as a blend. Our blend, such as Il Baroni, we draw from vineyards in all the locations all across the Napa Valley. It's important to have diversity in your vineyards because any given growing season is going to greatly affect how those vines behave. Depending on what Mother Nature gives us, we can draw from our different vineyards to really craft really unique and distinctive wines. I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour here at Castel de Amorosa.